there's been all these reports lately that The Rock was basically trying to hijack the floundering DC cinematic universe with the release of Black Adam. Like, he was barring actors from his movie to appear in Shazam 2 and didn't want any Shazam characters in Black Adam. Basically walling off his own little Sony Spider-Man Wario-verse. When you see Madam Web, you're gonna love it. In fact, I think you're gonna see it twice. Jerk off instruction. They tell you how to jerk off. They tell you why to jerk off. Then you had the Maui thing with Oprah where these one percenters pleading for donations appeared, if not malicious, at least as tone deaf and out of touch as Gal Gadot and Madonna at the start of the era-defining event that I'm not sure if YouTube still wants us to not talk about. The Rock hasn't exactly done anything that we don't expect Hollywood assholes to do. He hasn't done anything criminal. He's not throwing shit at his interns. He just comes off like a big fat phony, and when your appeal depends on a delicate balance of being both larger than life and more down to earth and relatable than your contemporaries, that's something that you need to address. And The Rock has addressed it by doubling down. It isn't hard to do. You can call it a confession or an apology or satire. Wrestling is a carny business and it doesn't really care about your artistic intentions. Wrestling cares about the bottom line and the bottom line is The Rock's heel persona is big money. When The Rock calls his own fans a bunch of inbred crackheads, they go out and buy a t-shirt about it. Whatever The Rock's intentions, The Rock's work on WWE programming lately has been inspired. Everyone's making a big deal about the concert he put on for the Memphis crowd on SmackDown recently, where he's singing about how he's going to beat the hell out of Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. It's the sort of thing that would be embarrassing to watch, except it's The Rock doing it. He's a Samoan Johnny Bravo, making his way to Chad by embracing the cringe. But what makes this promo really special for me is the end, turning the boastful energy down to a sinister whisper, promising to beat the flesh off Cody's back with a custom weight belt, then hand the blood-soaked strap to Cody's mom and saying, What can I say except you're welcome? A friend of mine pointed out the Jim Jones glasses, and I don't think that's a coincidence. This is a version of Hollywood Dwayne Johnson that is both darker and more beloved than he's ever been. This persona is tapping into cult and cult of personality themes, and it nakedly depicts the two-faced nature of celebrity. It's always the giddy cheerleaders who seem to be the worst people backstage. If you're the type that likes to sniff your own farts and hear yourself talk for four hours on end, there's a lot to say about where the line is drawn between a wrestler and their heel persona, how the job demands a confession of, or an indulgence in, one's worst self and how the intention in doing so is secondary to how many tickets and t-shirts it sells. I could go on and on about it, but I'm not a video essayist. I'm a reviewer, and I give this promo five stars.